And Karen Kraft walks her dog near what's left of the decades old factory. I felt like it was dangerous. It wasn't so much an eyesore, but you know, yeah, I, I was worried about maybe kids exploring back there and perhaps getting hurt. Here's what that building looked like as flames tore through it on New Year's Day of 2020. Current city manager and former Middletown firefighter and chief Paul Lolly had plenty of runs to this site in his more than 30 years with the department. It's one of those buildings that's marked as a dangerous building because of the, the mere size of the building, how it was cut up, uh, old construction, so the stability part of it was uh, decaying and, and, and falling in. It's not cheap to demolish such a massive building. Lolly says the city received $3 million from the American Rescue Plan through Butler County to put toward the demolition. How's the city kind of approaching what to do next with that property? Well, we're pretty sure that that site will never allow residential development. But what will be able to go there are things such as uh, light industrial, commercial. Lolly says that's the future, to have some type of light industrial or technology companies on the site. So when you come into the south side of the city, you know, it looks good, it looks vibrant, it looks like a new Middletown. In Middletown, I'm Christian Hauser. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.